Hey y'all, this is a uh, 10 this is an X3 bolt 22 rifle and I'm going to uh, attempt to show a video on how to use the uh, 10x tool uh, to take the bolt apart. Anyway, there's a little um, cover Allen wrench size just to fill the pocket up, just a little bitty thing. Got your bolt tool, it's got a slot in it, that's the spring compressor. There's a pin in there that holds all this stuff together uh, on the other side of that spring. Put it in the tool with the locking lugs holding it and uh, just run this tool up until it spreads uh, everything apart. And right there toward the end, you'll see a little pin in there. Use a paper clip. It's got a hole in the bottom. Use a paper clip. Punch that pin out. There it is. Don't lose it. Now, things are coming apart. There's your firing pin. And uh, you back everything off. Spring is decompressing. And uh, soon we'll have that whole bolt out of there. And a part. And there it is. The, uh, the thing comes apart just like that. The springs inside. Spring back in there. Uh, you can put this in there. Just keep spring from falling out. Bolt back on with the uh, right way orientated the way it came off, uh, not backwards. Same way it came off. Put it back in here. Make sure the locking lugs are are going to hold it in place. Get a little tension on it. Readjust. Make sure this will go up on there and into the bolt handle. And as you let it fall off, if you don't hold it on there. But I'm looking, I'm looking in that little bitty hole there, and I'm watching the spring compress. And when I basically bottom out, I know this bolt will bottom out, I turn half around, and I use this to steer. Now the hole's lined all up. I put this pin back in there. It ain't lining up perfectly. You may have to steer a little more. There it goes down in there. Make sure it's flush uh, where it won't impede the action from uh, from working. Put a little more pressure on it. I'll line up both sides. There it goes. Now, to my, for me, that's a little too deep. I go around to the other side, push it back out a little bit. Still a little deep to me. I look at this side. Feel it with this paper clip. Feel if there's a drag. Yep, a little, a little, a little button sticking up there. I'll push it out a little too much and start over. Don't want it to snap in there. Just want it to push flush. Well, it looks like it snapped again. Let me, uh, no, it's fitting. No, it's flush. All right, so then I back this totally back off. Bolts back together. No pressure on the spring. Tool comes right out of there. The cover goes back on, and that is how you disassemble a X3 or a 10, uh, a 10X. That's beautiful. That's it.